My name is Jeffrey Frankel, and in this series of YouTube videos, I will show you techniques and tips to reduce the time it takes to deal with questions in Paper 1 of the IB Chemistry exam at both standard level and higher level. When you're dealing with a problem about entropy, the basic things of entropy should come into your mind. First is that solid going to a liquid is a positive change in entropy. The second is that a liquid going to a gas is a positive change in entropy. And the third is that a solid dissolving in a liquid is a positive change in entropy. And combining the first two, the solid going to a liquid, which is melting, and the liquid going to a gas, which is either boiling or evaporating, you then get a solid going to a gas, which is a positive change in entropy. Therefore, melting ice at room temperature is a positive change in entropy because the molecules are moving apart, they have greater freedom, and therefore there is more disorder in the system. Evaporating water at room temperature is a positive change in entropy because the molecules are moving apart, the molecules have greater freedom, and therefore there is an increase in disorder in the system and therefore an increase in entropy. Dissolving sodium chloride in water is a positive change in entropy because the molecules, or in this case the ions in sodium chloride, are moving apart, they have greater freedom, there is more disorder in the system, therefore positive change in entropy. Therefore, as soon as you see this one, you can say D. All three of them are positive changes in entropy. All three of them have situations where molecules or ions are moving apart. All three of them have situations where the molecules or the ions have greater freedom of movement. Therefore, there is greater disorder in the system and therefore there is an increase in entropy. This is a question which needs no more than 10 seconds, 15 seconds, or maybe 20 seconds. You need to have these ideas in your head so that you can do this kind of question in less than 20 or so seconds. So I've given you a minute or more for other questions in the paper. And we're talking about paper one, where the question is worth just one mark. So know what you're looking for. Know what an increase in entropy involves. With that knowledge, you can deal with this question quickly. Based on what we've discussed, you can see that the one that is going to create an increase in entropy is going to be D because sodium chloride in, as a solid goes to sodium chloride as a solution in water and therefore there will be an increase in entropy. And you can quickly look through the others and realize a gas going to a solid is a decrease in entropy, a gas going to a liquid is a decrease in entropy, liquid going to a solid is a decrease in entropy. So Again, within 10, 15 seconds, if you have these ideas in your head and you fully remember them and understand them, D is the immediate answer. In this case, we're looking for something that does not lead to an increase in entropy. Does not lead. Mixing nitrogen and oxygen gases at room temperature does lead to an increase in entropy. Cooling steam so that it condenses to water? Wow! Immediately we see that is not an increase in entropy. That is a reduction in entropy because the cooling steam brings 
together the molecules of water so that they are closer together and they are more ordered in the form of water than they are in the form of steam. Heating hexane to its boiling point is an, in is an increase in the entropy. Dissolving sugar in water, just like dissolving sodium chloride in water, is an increase in entropy. So again, this is a question where within 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds, you can see the answer if you have these ideas in your head. We're looking again for the positive change in entropy. And they do say the largest. The implication is there may be two of them which have a positive change, and only one will be the largest. We need to check that out. Now, going slowly through them, four molecules of gas giving two molecules of gas negative. Solid going to a solid, more or less zero. Two molecules of gas going to four molecules of gas, definitely positive, definitely positive. Three molecules of gas going to two molecules of gas, negative. So, in fact, even though they use this phrase largest positive, it could have simply been the positive value. And because there is only one reaction that has a positive value, and that's this one where two molecules of gas gives four molecules of gas, and that fits in with the idea of greater space, greater freedom of molecules, more disorder, and therefore positive value of delta S, or positive change in entropy. Another question where we're looking for an increase in entropy, and again they say the greatest increase, suggesting there might be two increases in entropy, and we're looking for the one that has the greatest. But there may only be one with an increase in entropy. We just have to check it out. Okay, immediately we can see the first one is a negative, because the gas is on the left, and liquid and solid on the right. Therefore, that is a negative change in entropy. Here we have, again, a solid and a gas going to a solid, negative change in entropy. Ah, here's a solid and a liquid going to a solid and a gas. Ah, that's an increase in entropy. As soon as you get a gas, where on the left were simply solids and, solids and liquids, then that is a positive change in entropy. And here we've got two molecules going to two molecules. That's a zero change in entropy. Therefore, C is the only possibility. Following on from what we've just done, we are looking for the most negative change in entropy and probably, I say probably, that might be a gas. Probably. Because we see the first one is two and a half molecules are going to two molecules. That clearly is a negative change in entropy. But let's look at the others. Solid going to a gas, that's clearly a positive change in entropy, solid, dissolving in water, positive change in entropy, and half a molecule of gas going to one molecule of gas, a positive change in entropy. So A is clearly the only negative one and is the most negative change in entropy. The reason I wasn't so sure at the beginning is because it said the most negative, and there could have, there could have been it's unlikely, but there could have been two situations where there might have been a negative change in entropy, and we were looking for the most negative. In fact, it turns out there was only one negative change in entropy, and that is A. The way this question is phrased, it implies there is only one equation which has a negative value for entropy change. So the first time you find it, that is it. Okay, and immediately we see three molecules on the left, two molecules on the right. That must be it. It has, it has a negative value for entropy change. Let's just check the others. Sodium chloride converting to gases, positive change in entropy. 
two molecules of gas there, two molecules there, that's zero change in entropy. Uh, two molecules there, three molecules there, positive. Therefore, the only negative one is this one, where you're going from three molecules on the left to two molecules on the right of gas. So we're looking for the most negative change in entropy. And immediately you can see the first one. It's three molecules on the left of gas and two molecules on the right of gas. This is definitely negative. Let's just check there is no others. This is a positive change going from a solid to a gases. This is a positive change going from a solid to a solution of the solid with the ions spread around. And this is a positive change. So the only negative change is this one. For the We're looking for a reaction where there's the same number of gas molecules on the left as there are on the right. And immediately you look through this, you get to this one. They, the examiners love this one. H2 gas plus I2 gas goes to 2HI gas. If you see that, you know that zero change in entropy. And you can quickly see that the others, that negative change, that one negative change, and this one very positive change, going from solid and liquid to a solid and a gas. If you see this one, H2 plus I2 goes 2HI, you can be sure that that one is the only one that has a zero or close to zero change in entropy. Okay, so we want to see the same number of gas molecules on the left as there are on the right. And lo and behold, you have this one, B. Three molecules of carbon monoxide on the left and three molecules of carbon dioxide on the right. That is it. Okay, then you can quickly look at the others that increase in entropy. This one, gas going to, plus liquid going to that. Oh, that's a decrease in entropy because you're going from a gas to the liquid state. Uh, this one is solid, aqueous, liquid, aqueous, gas. Increase in entropy. So again, very quickly you could see that this is the one which has the entropy change closest to zero. And as I say very quickly, in less than 20 25 seconds, you can see that. Thus, they you time for other problems. Okay, we're looking for entropy change close to zero. So, here we are. H2 gas plus I2 gas goes to 2HI. There we are. That's the one. That's our reaction. Where the number of gas molecules on the left is the same as the number of gas molecules on the right. And you can just quickly check the others. That's one and a half gas molecules go to one gas molecule. That's a negative change. Uh, liquid goes to a gas. That's a positive change. Uh, gas goes to a solid. That's a negative change. And therefore, this confirms that that is the only one where there is an entropy change close to zero. When you look at this one, you should immediately realize that the entropy of oxygen gas is not zero. There is no reason why it should be zero. The entropy of most things above absolute zero on, on the Kelvin scale of temperature is positive. Therefore, this one is wrong. And you can quickly go a is wrong, B is wrong, and D is wrong. Therefore, the only possibility is C. So quickly, you can look through this and decide which one is wrong, and that one is wrong, and therefore the other two must be right. And you can quickly look through them, and you can see that the change in entropy going from left to right is negative. It's less than zero, because there's three gas molecules on the left, two on the right. And you can quickly look at this one. And if you remember, you should remember, that the change in entropy for a reaction is the entropy of the product 
minus the entropy of the reactants. Let me write that down. The change in entropy for a reaction, let me do it standard, equal the entropy for the products minus the entropy for the reactants. And that is what this is. There's the product, reactant, reactant. So the change in entropy, so two is correct, three is correct, one is not correct, and therefore the answer is C. This is another problem where if you can see the one that is wrong, usually that is enough to give you the answer out of these four choices. If you found this YouTube video helpful, then please say you like it and subscribe to my channel and look at my other YouTube videos. Thank you.